Hello, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. This is a quick tutorial on how to make a hyperlapse with the Insta360 ONE X2. The best settings that work for me is to shoot at 5.7K at 24 frames per second and I also make sure that the camera is set to shoot at 360 degrees. Something else that I find useful is to use either a tripod like this or an extension stick. And now all you have to do is just place the camera in front of you and just start moving forward. For this video, we used a car instead of walking. I think it was lazy day, but you can use whatever you want. A skateboard, bicycle, walking is perfectly fine. When it's time to edit, I like to transfer the files from the camera to the smartphone and this way it's easier to edit those files. Also, you get to keep an extra copy of the file just in case and at that point, you can just turn off the camera, not use the Wi-Fi connection and save some battery on the camera. On the Insta360 app, you need to go to Album and now you're going to select the video that you want to use for the hyperlapse. If you press directly on the icon or on the video clip, it's gonna go into edit mode. But like I said before, I think it's better just to download it. So I'm gonna go back. So now I'm back on album and I am going to select up here. And now I'm gonna select the clip or the clips that I want to work on the time lapse. So let's say it's just that one. And I'm gonna click over here to download the file. Once the file is downloaded, you can just choose over here on local. And that's the file that's already on the smartphone. So at this point, you can turn off the camera. So you press on the video clip and now we have the editor right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is to trim the parts that we don't want. So I'm going to press on the cut icon or the scissor icon and I'm gonna select all the way pretty much until the end of the video clip. All right, so I'm gonna do it until here for this, for this video. So now I'm gonna press here to just confirm and then I'm gonna hit on accept up here. All right, so now I have the whole clip that I want to use for the hyperlapse. So I'm gonna go back to the very beginning. The next step to do is to set the aspect ratio that you want for your clip. I actually like 16 to nine or 235 to one, but for this example, I am going to stick to nine to 16. Now I am going to lock the direction up here on the menu. You press these three dots and you select this second option, which says direction lock. The reason to do that is because the car is going to turn to the right side. With direction lock, the camera will keep pointing to the same direction where the car is going. Just like that. If I turn direction lock off, the camera will keep looking at that direction, regardless if the car turns or not. Let me show you. All right, now I'm back at the beginning of the clip and now I want to add a keyframe or a pivot point to set the direction where I want the camera to be looking at. So I'm gonna hit on the plus sign and now the menu is different. So I'm gonna just change the view and I'm gonna select that I want to keep looking forward. So if you see this plus sign over here, that is the direction that this is going to take. But before I do any changes, I need to confirm this. And I do that by clicking on this update keyframe. So now I have a yellow dot on the plus sign. And this yellow dot is indicating that the camera will point that way. If the yellow dot is pointing somewhere else that you don't want it to be looking at, all you have to do is move this around and just choose the right angle. 
So my right angle is always going to be there towards the end of the highway. When you're ready to apply the hyperlapse, we're going to the beginning of the video clip. We're gonna slide the timeline just a little bit to the left or the right, depending if you have space to either side, and we're going to slide it until we don't see the X anymore. So I'm gonna just do it like this. Okay, so, so that should be the point. And now I'm not gonna add another keyframe. I'm gonna slide on this menu and select the speed. This one over here. Here, we're going to slide again on this menu and select 16X or hyperlapse. Now I'm going to select a portion of the video where I want the hyperlapse to happen. So in this case, I am selecting everything until the end. All right, this is the end um, of the cut. It's right there. So this side to the right side is the rest of the video that I already did cut out, but for whatever reason, it's showing up there. I mean, I can still select it for the hyperlapse, but it's not gonna affect on anything. So the yellow part is going to be the clip that I'm gonna have on my final export. All right, now we are going to accept down here. And you want to make sure that this icon over here is selected and this is going to activate the motion blur. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna accept again. And as you can see, we now have a four second clip down here. So we can just preview it. Something that you need to know is that on the preview, the motion blur has not been applied. So we need to export this clip so we can see the final result. Press the export icon up here. Select reframe video. And here you want to tap on quick export. To the right side of costume, select the setting icon. And the main thing here is to make sure that you have the highest bit rate that is available. So here I'm gonna go back and we're going to select where it says quick export. But now we're gonna choose custom. So now it's gonna do the whole exporting process again with the right settings. Now you just have to wait and when it's ready, the new video clip is going to be on the smartphone video gallery. I do have a full tutorial on how to edit your videos using the Insta360 app on your smartphone. I'll have the link up here and on the comments down below if you want to check it out. That's going to be all for today. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.